the iconic. one that's you, you guys, you know, let us know on Twitter. I mean, you know, we've, we've commentated a lot. I don't remember all the tournaments we've commentated together. It's been a lot. Uh, we've done this tournament, too, before. Yeah, I think we did Genesis. We did Genesis 5, the one where Plup won. Yeah. So that's, yep. that's there as well. So, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and some things don't change. We get Brandon commentating a shrewd set. Uh, oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, y'all, okay, look. With most people, right, I try to call them by their tags, obviously, right? Because, you know, I don't like to be the cool guy. Like, oh, I know this guy by name. <laughs> I, I, but I've known uh, Shroomed for, like, more than half my life at this point. So it's kind of hard to call him Shroomed because it's just like, dude, like, yeah, we know each other's moms, bro. <laughs> like, our moms know us. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're we're really close friends. Yeah. So it's hard for me to just be like, yeah, Shroomed. But I try, okay, guys? Okay. Yeah, you can say Duan. Okay, I think they'll, okay. they'll, they'll, they'll be all right. At this point, the community knows him as Duan anyway. I think so. So I don't think that's as crazy if I say his name. No, I think it's fine. Duan Energy McDaniels. Yep. Ginger, on the other hand, uh, I mean, I've known a lot less time. I don't know as well. But I know Ginger long enough. Yeah. I would like to say Ginger is a, a fellow companion of mine, a fellow, a fellow Falco brethren Ooh. in the struggle. That's right. I've learned a lot watching Ginger play. Great Falco. Big fan. Also a lot on the on the content side from Ginger as well. You yeah. should check out the Ginger YouTube, just I, throwing down on the I knowledge. I know Ginger's been like on a, he has been on like a hiatus per se, but I know Ginger definitely like took a break. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He kind of fell back for about like most of last year. Yeah, I And think he's so. like getting back into it, so it's good to see him back. Say, I mean, same with Dewan. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to expect to Dewan. You know what he told me this weekend, bro? Uh-oh, tell me. This fucking guy. I'm like, yo, man. He's like, yeah. Uh... You know, one day, bro, I'm down because I moved to Cleveland, Ohio, guys, right? So mm -hmm. he's like, you know, I'm down to go to Cleveland one day, man. I've been, I, I'm, I plan on traveling more for tournaments this year. Let me know, bro. I'm like, bro, you be, you actually going to tournaments? He's like, yeah, bro. I finally, he's like, I finally downloaded Uncle Punch. I downloaded Slim. <laughs> I was like, Dewan, it is 2024, bro. <laughs> like, and I'm like, Dewan, it takes like five minutes. I finally started using training mode. <laughs> right now, like literally, like that. That's like what I heard. I was like, what? <laughs> it's crazy that some players like like Dewan they can get so far off of just like I want to say their natural talent. Definitely He's the closest thing, bro. Definitely plays. Because he like, damn sure ain't working. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at least, at least has spurts, okay. Mm -hmm. And when look back in the day when we we're coming up. He used to watch all his videos. Mm -hmm. He used to study him. He used to go to every tournament. And obviously it paid off. Obviously he's as good as he is, right? Right. And then my bad just start living life. It just – but the skill never got worse. No. I mean, I'm sure last year was probably, like, the worst he's ever been as far as, like, rankings-wise. But, like, my man, like, half-assed his way into the top 50, dude. He like, still kept up with he, the field, though, yeah, I, he which really, I think is he, really impressive. Yeah, he didn't – like, he's not trying, bro. He just, like – Honestly, if this wasn't in San Jose, I don't even know if he'd be here. <laughs> Straight up. It was just convenient for him. <laughs> it was him. just really convenient. It's like, yeah, I mean, hey, I get to see all the hobbies. It is like a big reunion. Mm -hmm. Ginger got the first game, though, rightfully so. And also very close. I feel like on the opposite end, we were talking about, you know. I know how... we were rambling. I'm sorry, guys. No, 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 it's all good. It'd be hard when you talk for hours, man. You guys want to talk about the match for three, four hours straight. <laughs> it's like, all right, man, like, I get it, you know. <laughs> It's like you. I have to commentate like a hundred games, man. Like, let me live. No, I think you know? you're, you're explaining the human side of these players, Brandon. Right. You so know, it's okay. Well, I will say this about Ginger on a on a. If we want to talk about the match, I think Ginger's insanely good at this matchup. Low key, like, might be the best Falco of this matchup. For mm. What like, does he do in particular that makes him good at this matchup? What, what would you say? I feel like Ginger finds really good openings with down air, man. Like. Mm -hmm. And normally that's like not very good, but the way he does it is like it's just different. It's like it's different in the sense that he'll change his like he'll change his timing up. He'll do like a fastball dare, then like a then like a regular dare. Like he always has his mix-ups on on how he does his aerials, and I think it throws Falco's off. He's also really good at doing like down and shine combos, and like he knows like how to like extend combos on Sheik because most of the time when you fight Sheik with Falco from like 0 to 50 in that range same with Mark it's kind of hard to combo them because they're not in tumble yet mm -hmm. but for some reason Ginger can find a way to like he'll, he'll see where they're like kind of gliding or jumping out and he'll follow the DI down there again like I don't know that's like mad hard most most of the time when I combo Sheiks they like get out of the combo at like 30 yeah the way he know? does it he really makes use of the timing of the down air to 
make it such that, that or the, I think he's just yeah, he's off super of that. dead. Yeah. He makes use of the timing of the downer such that the opponent is going to be right where Falco is going to be landing after that down air. Mm -hmm. Kind of uses the timing of like knockback stacking mm -hmm. in order to make sure that the Sheik or whatever character he's comboing is right at the range where a secondary like shine or down tilt or down air. I will, think the biggest thing I well. like about Ginger's game um, that. I'm not saying he's playing safe when he does this, by the way. People are going to confuse my words. Mm -hmm. He makes his aerials look safe. Like, his aerials are like always somehow safe on shield, even though like sometimes it's not necessarily safe on shield. Mm -hmm. But he makes it look that way. Well, and he, it's like crazy. He, I don't know. I like I, I don't know. Every time I do stuff that he's trying to go for, I get down there or I get or I get me not down there. I get mirrored at a shield or shield grab because obviously I'm doing it wrong. Well, but he definitely like, labs a lot, so I feel yeah. like he kind of understands exactly what is safe and what isn't safe. But like despite the this, like the frame data of it, you know. Yeah, but despite yeah, this, the one be freeing up Falco's, bro. Yeah, I, I low-key like to take credit in his Falco success. It does. His, him versus Falco, his versus Falco success. I mean, obviously, it, it's his hard work. I just want to make it about me. But, like, you know, uh, you know I'm going to have some classics with him. You know? I also think he's tightened up his edge guarding a lot over the, the last couple of years. It feels like he does a lot of these really cool needle type edge guards, which he may not have had yeah. prior. And I feel like his tech chasing has gotten better relative to Dewan. No, it has. It has. It's like, I know it's like a meme. Same yeah. with like Johnny Edge Garden. But, no, like, he's gotten better. His tech chases, they're like, they're not bad. Like I think what Dewan's starting to realize with tech chasing is like, oh, I don't need to keep regrabbing. I could like do moves, and I think he's way better at tech chasing with moves. He finally, finally learned how to do that. Dude, he could do that for years, bro. Which one? <laughs> Nair out of shield. Oh, Nair out of shield. Oh man. <laughs> and Nair out of shield is so, Nair out of shield is so good yeah, with bro, shield. I used to be it's getting, fast. I used to get free dubs on him. We, 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 we didn't know how to do that, bro. I used to be beat him. Oh like, yo, yo, you gotta learn that, bro. It's too, it's too good to not do, bro. It's with shield. really yeah. good. It'll get you out of like a lot of precarious positions in shield. Yeah, Ginger right now just applying pressure. He's just like so good at like whole center too, man. I don't know. Ginger's... I also think Ginger's, Ginger's lasers are really good. Yeah. Just the laser heights that Ginger chooses each time will just kind of keep the Sheik exactly where he wants him. His downer, his downer timings, though, the mix on his downer timings, I think is like the biggest outlier because mm -hmm. most Falcos try to go for downer and they can't really get it. Mm -hmm. And Ginger just makes it look easy. And also, if you do like a bad down air on shield, that's a huge grab. And some that things gets, even you know? like, because I know we just like, oh, Mango's best Falco, but there's things that I think Mango can take from Ginger in this matchup in particular. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. Yeah, he like overextended right there. He was almost dead. Yeah, maybe like just timing the forward air a little bit, like flash falling before the forward air. Yeah, or just waiting for the jump. Sometimes with the Falco's jump, you could read where they're gonna, if they're gonna up B or side B, and then right. you could just hit that spot. Mm -hmm. And then it kind of doesn't even matter. They're just dead. You yeah. Just react to it. Yeah. It's a quick guide on how to get Falco. Trust me, bro. It's too good. Yeah. Learn through nice. experience. Yeah, I've just learned by gimping Falco and getting gimped. <laughs> you know? Ooh. I lost this matchup today, bro. It was tough, bro. Oh. It's a hard matchup. I, I think Sheik wins it uh, on surface, right? Like, I, I think the matchup's just generally easier for Sheik. But as you get, as the matchup gets more refined, I think at like peak is Falco favorite. Mm -hmm. But like, it's really hard to get to that point. It's kind of like Marth Yoshi, or like Marth Pikachu. No, I understand. If the if the the Falco is trying really hard, there's always like a that's what I think Isaiah would say in terms of like Falcon versus some characters. Yeah. If, if the Falcon is trying really hard, then the Falcon wins that matchup. So I can kind of see <laughs> it being, being like a, or if, if, if the Falcon just, like, does the right everything. Things, yeah, yeah, yeah. If the Falcon does the the right thing. Because I've tried hard and lost. That, that that happens to me more often than not. Mm -hmm. Because a lot oh. of control Falco has, but if you're off a little bit, then you're just kind of lasering. And down tilt? Okay. You should have down tilted it right there. I know that was wow. cool, but like, still worked. But Dang. Down tilt would have just like ended the game. Ginger combos have been pretty on point though. That's what I'm saying though. He doesn't um, he doesn't uh, he always puts himself in the right spot. Yeah. His um, he, he just knows um, I'm just trying to think of the right word, but he he knows exactly how to. To punish and mm -hmm. then put himself, he he makes himself always safe. I, I don't necessarily think he's playing safe though, but no, I do I think what you mean. I think he makes himself to where he's always safe. Where like yo, 
what, no matter what I land here or don't land, like I'm not at risk here. Yeah, I think that's really important, right? Going for options where it's not a huge reversal opportunity, where if you do something, the Sheik doesn't get a huge, huge reversal. And I think that's extra important as Falco that gets absolutely blown up no, from sure. those kind of reversals, right? Easy. So placing yourself, it's, yeah, just placing yourself in good spots, even if the hit misses. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was meant to be an that up was, tilt. That was ugly. That was that, that worked, worked because, like, it threw the one off. Man, I've, I've been there. Let's be real. Y'all have all played that mark, and they didn't mean to up smash, but you got tempered by it. Yeah. That's like one of those scenarios. Yeah. And somehow it just comboed beautifully because you didn't DI right. properly. Right, because you didn't yeah. think that you were getting up smash. I think that's where Sheik forward smash thrives. Oh, yeah. Because you just don't expect oh it. Oh, so my you're God. Like, He's going crazy. And the forwarder actually yeah, lasted long like, enough to combo? That was so good. The ledge dash and the forward smash. He shouldn't have uh, picked the stage, bro. I, I get the whole, like, oh, I'm trying to avoid the top platforms. That's why DeWan always picks the stage. But, mm -hmm. like, it's just, it's just a bad stage for Sheik, bro. And now there's a top platform. Yeah. So it's just like you kind of, like, what, you know? Yeah. Yeah, this is way more one-sided than the previous games were. Yeah. To your point. Okay, gets down smash. Can he clean it? Oh, nice short. Yeah. Because that narrow would have definitely Ginger's covered. Ginger's sheet game is just so refined, bro. Mm -hmm. He really, he just really understands what like not only to make himself safe, but like he really understands what Sheik's look for. Like you could just really tell. Like most Falcos aren't that good at knowing like what what they can and can't do out of like, you know, when Sheik's in hit stun. Mm -hmm. Even there with like the, the shield pressure that we saw from Ginger, kind of doing like that downer, but like fading back at the last second, you know, so it's mm -hmm. like, not necessarily like safe, but it makes you second guess whether you can punish out of shield. This is round two pools, bro. I know, man, that's just, that's just the way oh, it is now. This would be like a top 32 match, like. Easily. Right, okay, Noan. Got go off stage, bro, what you doing? Okay. He never back throws, bro. There's a world where Dewan cheeses, bro. I, I think you kind of got to cheese yeah, at this at kind this of point, position. Bro, it, you you kind of have to. Dude, this is like the best like matchup, too. Like, Sheik cheeses. We talk about Mark a lot, but Sheik on the low, bro. Sheik on the low is like low-key just at probably more degenerate in some scenarios, bro. Because <laughs> at least Mark, he can't do nothing out of shield, really, on Falco's pressure. Like, Sheik can just nair out of all of it. Yeah, and Sheik also has like really strong refreshes on legs. And needles. And needles. Yo, he's just spamming down to it, bro. I feel disrespected if I was the one. Like, are you gonna take that? I mean you got you've got the stocks to play with. See, so, yeah, I mean we talk about naturally talented, but you know, thirty minutes of practice can't get you this far. Nope. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> no, not, not anymore. anymore. Yeah, those days have passed. Those days have been long gone. Okay, okay, okay double up smash. He just knew. Didn't net too much. Nah, it's, but it got yeah, the people there going. Goes. There it goes. That's a three-one. And Ginger, he kind of cleaned them up. Mm -hmm. He kind of cleaned them up. I think so. <laughs> the one. Nah, <laughs> he can't even be bad though. I know he's not. See, that's how I feel too. Cause I'd be like, man, I used to be real. I was, we, we ain't practicing. Like, this is like, we we losing to all the, these these new super good players, and it's just like, man, you know. He does. I think nowadays he gets more practice because he just wor he works with S2J and S Fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So but in terms of like the, the uncle punch and things like that, he's but definitely yeah, that's not that like, type of that's practice. That's like playing more. That's like, okay, yeah, yeah Vish, me and you work together, so we're going to play more. But yeah. like, you need that structure. You need that structured practice. Yeah, my man not practicing tech chase. We've been, we've been talking about the one not being able to tech chase for like eight years now. <laughs> Maybe longer. You see the double up smash, though? So that was a read. Uh, was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dewan is great got, at reads. I never, I never question his read game. <laughs> My man is reading Rainbow. No, 